Operator ID cards are provided to each operator to uniquely identify them in the analytics platform. Operator identity cards are used to sign out halfware at the start of a shift. There are two possible types of operator identity cards, RFID cards and RFID CSCS cards. Each operator must have their own ID card programmed with unique individual information. This video will cover how to add operators to the analytics platform and how to program an operator ID card and a CSCS card using ReactX card manager software. To program operator ID cards, you will require an analytics administration user account, an HID OmniKey RFID reader writer, driver software for the RFID read writer and ReactX card manager installed on a, onto a PC. Finally, an operator ID card or CSCS card. To add an operator, log in to the ReactTech Analytics software. Then click Data Project Manager from the top menu. Then click Operators from the side menu. Operators can be created individually or by bulk uploading. To create individually, click Create New. The mandatory fields that need completing are operator ID. Please note, the string can only be a max of 16 characters long and only include numbers and letters A to F. It is imperative that unique IDs are used across all of your business, such as payroll or employee ID numbers. First name. Last name. Sign up device type. If the operator is using Haveware for social distancing purposes only and not for Have management, choose SD mode. If the operator is using Haveware for Have exposure risk management and may or may not be using the social distancing function, choose Have plus SD mode. EAV stroke ELV. If you're adding an operator for SD mode only, there is no need to complete these two fields. If using for have management, update as per your company policy. The remaining fields to identify the individual, such as date of birth, are optional and need not be used. If the operator is using Razor to gather live, have, and or safe distance data from nearby colleagues, Click the Is Supervisor box. The Disabled box should only be ticked when the employee is no longer permitted to sign out a device. To learn more about check-in options, razor options and labels, please refer to our software admin guide, which can be found by visiting our website. Then click Create. To bulk upload operators from the main operator list page, click Bulk Upload. Then click Download Template. Then open the downloaded operator template. Complete the spreadsheet with the required details. The mandatory fields that, needed, that need completed are Operator ID. Please note, the string can only be a max of 16 characters long and only include numbers, that, numbers and letters A to F. It is essential that unique IDs are used across all of your business, such as payroll or employee ID numbers.
first name and last name. The remaining fields are optional. If you don't complete the EAV stroke ELV fields, these will automatically default in the analytics software to 100 and 400. If you don't complete the sign out mode, if you're a safe distance only customer, this will automatically default in the analytics software to SD mode, which will prevent have data from being collected. If you don't have safe distance enabled, it will default to have plus SD mode. Save the file to your computer. Then go back to the analytics and click choose file. Locate the save spreadsheet and click open. If the operators are to be uploaded to a group, choose the relevant group from the drop down menu. Then click import. Open the card manager software. If you don't already have this installed, you can download the software by logging into your analytics account. Then click on the downward facing arrow from the top menu and choose operator ID card manager and follow the instructions on the screen. Log in to the card manager software using your credentials from your React Tech Analytics account. Plug the RFID read writer into your PC. You will see a green tick appear in the RFID reader status box. To program an operator ID card, click on the write a card button on the opening window. The card manager will import and display a list of operators that belong to the user's analytics account. Place the operator ID card that is to be programmed onto the RFID read, read writer. As soon as, you, as, you, as soon as you've done this, a green tick will appear in the RFID card status box. Click on the write button at the end of the line to write this data onto the operator ID card. On clicking this button, the user will be prompted for confirmation to write this information onto the card. Click yes to proceed. After the data has been successfully written onto the card, the user will be notified with the updated message. If the operator details have been updated in the analytics whilst logged into the card manager software, these details can be viewed by clicking refresh. Programming a CSCS card is similar to programming an operator ID card. The only difference is when you are programming a CSCS card, the CSCS ID and the surname must match the CSCS ID and surname that is printed on the CSCS card or programming will be prevented. Thank you for listening to this session on Operator ID card programming. For further support and information, visit the Customer Zone section on the React Tech website. <laughs>